Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our second film in a series on building stairs, and right now I'm concentrating on the linear stairs. Spiral stairs kind of uh, is appropriate in some respects too. Some of the modifications you see me making to the linear stairs could be applied to a uh, to a spiral stairs. So yeah, let's get uh, let's continue on. Let's go back to our first floor and take a look at our stairs. First thing we want to do is probably align these stairs. Perhaps our exterior wall or interior wall is a little bit bigger than we uh, want. We can stretch it out a little bit and give us a little bit of room for our stairs. And what I like to do, if I like the way my stairs are right now, if I like the way the parameters are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to design my room around these stairs. So I really do kind of like it the way it is. You know, it's got a little bit of landing. There's uh, plenty of room for the for the railings as they go up. And, you know, let's go back to our first floor um, camera and kind of take a look at that. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of room for the railing, so... Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that looks. So let's go back to our first floor. And let's put some constraints in here. First thing I want to do is take the, the back of my stairs and line it up with that wall. I want to make that wall a static element. I'm going to move my stairs to that wall. And the same thing with this wall. I'm going to go ahead and do that. But with this wall, I'm going to make this wall move to the stairs. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to Modify. Go to the Align tool. Click This is our static reference. And this is tricky here. As we're clicking on that, as we're not clicking, I'm sorry, as we're hovering our mouse over that, our cursor over that, you notice it says railing. We don't want to move the railing because it'll move the railing off the stairs. But we, what we want to do is choose the stairs themselves. So you have to click the tab key a couple times. And it looks like only once will work this time. So now we're going to click on the stairs and it's going to put them together and I lock it. So this way, if I move my wall, my design, the stairs will move with it. Same thing in this. Clicking that exterior reference as my static reference. Don't want railings, but I do want the, the stairs. Tab key. I'm going to lock that. And then this one, I'm going to click on the stairs first, because I want the stairs to remain the size that they are, and then move this wall to it. So click that. Stairs, 7 inch max. Click on that wall. Now the wall moves with the stairs. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that aligns our stairs up in the first floor. Let's see what it looks like in the second floor. I don't know, yeah, I did put a second floor in, and I have the stairs sticking out in the second floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make a modification to that second floor. I've been making a cutout in it, and we're going to save that for the next film. 